a special thanks to IDP Connect for bringing us together to discuss international education discourse. Thought leaders share their experiences, predictions and challenges related to student mobility, also looking into the roles of the states and institutions in international education. Senior international officers discuss key issues and trends in student mobility, examining risk and opportunities and making prediction on the pathway to 2030. All agreed that student mobility in 2030 will continue to increase with more students seeking innovative opportunities to study overseas. Highlighted sessions focused on the importance of the cross-cultural skills, language age, and healthy competition with the private sector in the global economy. COVID-19 was a lesson. A student can now study from anywhere in the world, and the institutions are offering more flexible programs that allow students to study or participate in international exchanges. By 2030, we can expect to see an increase in student mobility from emerging economics, particularly in Asia and Africa. The group also expected to see a shift in the types of program that students are interested in with the focus on sustainability, social justice, and global citizenship. Micro-credential, rescaling, upscaling programs, and other factors such as globalization, technological innovation, and the changing nature of the workforce were discussed. U.S. international education is rapidly evolving, and by 2030, we can expect to see a number of changes that will transform the way we think about education and international engagement.